Pradhanamik stage orange, the science and success stage. The stage where you believe life is all about success. How much money you have, how many followers on Instagram you have, how much you can lift at the gym, and how good looking you are. The stage where you think science, technology, and money will solve all questions and problems. Stage orange evolves after stage blue when you realize that stage blue is too moralizing, doesn't offer any immediate rewards, and when you start questioning the validity of stage blue beliefs. You realize how the moralizing of stage blue limits and hurts you. You get tired of waiting for rewards in the afterlife, and you start to question the validity of your religious or political beliefs. Is this group of people really all that bad? Does God really exist? Collectively, stage orange evolved at around the industrial revolution, and individually, it usually happens at around high school. You get exposed to a lot of new people, cultures, and ways of thinking, especially through the internet. And this makes you question your stage blue beliefs. You start focusing more on how you look, what you wear, how many friends you have, etc. And if you're watching this video, then odds are that you are at stage orange. So without further ado, let's get started. What is stage orange? First, the most common characteristics of stage orange. Stage orange focuses on success and improvement. Your primary goal is to improve your life. To make more money, to look better, have more friends, have more followers, more trophies and qualifications. At Stage Orange, you really do absolutely everything to improve, to become better and to win. And next, Stage Orange is competitive. You want to be the best, the richest, the smartest, the hardest. This creates a lot of stress and feelings of worthlessness. Either you feel bad about not being the best and not doing enough, or you're stressed about defending your position. Someone who's not the best looking might be miserable because of that. And on the other hand, some Instagram model will do everything in their power to maintain their position. They'll buy all the new clothes, they'll do all the new makeup, even get plastic surgery and Botox, or some businessman or someone interested in personal development spending 20 hours a day working on their business to be ahead of the curve, to win their competition. So Stage Orange constantly tries to one-up other people. And Stage Orange companies try to one-up other companies. Next, Stage Orange is highly pragmatic. You care about facts and proof, not theories, emotions, and philosophy. You believe that emotions are a weakness. You shouldn't cry. You're lazy if you stress about working too much. So at Stage Orange, you repress your own emotions. This leads to a lack of empathy, as well as other various mental illnesses, stress, depression, etc. Next, Stage Orange is highly scientific and fact-based. You have to remember that Stage Orange is a reaction to the belief and dogma-based Stage Blue. Instead of beliefs, at Stage Orange, you want scientifically backed up facts. Proof. And if you can't prove something, it must be false. If you can't quantify something, it doesn't exist. Everything supernatural and unprovable is instantly dismissed as false, because it doesn't fit the scientific paradigm. Stage Orange believes in science being the only correct way to truth, which if you look back at Stage Blue, is the exact same mistake. So Stage Orange believes that scientific facts are objectively true. After all, science works, so it must be true. Our formulas predict stuff, so that must be how the universe is, not seeing that they also rely on belief. So at Stage Orange, you make science the new religion. Also at Stage Orange, there's this toxic skepticism. If something doesn't follow the laws of physics, it's automatically dismissed. There's an aversion to everything but science, religion, spirituality, and mysticism. You see, at Stage Orange, you believe that Stage Green and Stage Turquoise mysticism and spirituality is the same thing as the religion of Stage Blue. Next, Stage Orange is highly materialistic. You want all the money, expensive clothes, Rolexes, sports cars, luxury houses, as you can get. You want a million followers on Instagram, and you think that'll make you happy. But of course, you never will. Because that only leads to you wanting the next thing, and then the next thing. Material things only give you excitement. You get a short burst of happiness from seeing some new thing, and then it levels out again. And then you'll want to chase the next thing, and it just continues like that forever. So you never reach a stage where you're fully satisfied and happy. And that's the biggest trap of Stage Orange. You easily end up spending your whole life chasing things, when things don't make you happy. At Stage Orange, you also think that technology and money will solve all the world's problems. You donate money to poor people instead of building up the necessary infrastructure. You get everyone to drive Teslas to fix climate change. You also want to enhance life through technology. You want the newest phone, the newest gadget, etc. And lastly, Stage Orange is hedonistic, meaning Stage Orange pursues pleasure. You go out partying and drinking, you try some drugs, you have sex or masturbate, look at porn, look at some other movies or play video games, or some other form of entertainment. At Stage Orange also comes the rise of comedy and entertainment, stand-up shows and Hollywood films. You start being vulgar and use profanity. Again, remember this is a reaction to Stage Blue which limits that. So of course, at Stage Orange, you value free speech. So, where can you find Stage Orange today? 
Around 30% of the global adult population is at stage orange, meaning more people, 40%, is at stage blue. But stage orange still has more cultural influence because of technology, the internet and media. You see, almost all cultural exports are at stage orange. Hollywood films, entertainment, sports cars, other technology tend to be at stage orange. In case of areas with more stage orange, urban areas such as big cities tend to be dominated by stage orange. Tokyo, New York, Dubai, Hong Kong and Las Vegas. They are highly dominated by stage orange. Now, a short list of stage orange values. As I've mentioned before, stage orange values success, excellence and achievement. Being the best, richest, hardest, etc. Being a world champion or being in the 1% is highly valued by stage orange. Stage Orange also values IQ, gym PRs, as well as academic qualifications like PhDs. Your net worth, and how famous you are or how many followers you have wherever. Tangible, quantifiable things. Stage Orange also values materialistic things. Sex, money, sports cars, etc. As well as luxury things and technology. Next, Stage Orange values results, efficiency and pragmatism. Stage Orange wants to waste as little time as possible. Take zero breaks from work and sleep for four hours. At Stage Orange you also value tangible results. How much money you make from your business, how much more you can lift at the gym. So Stage Orange likes working hard. Stage Orange also values competition. Stage Orange loves to compare itself to others. And lastly, Stage Orange values science and facts. The scientific method, data, analysis and different types of models as well as rationality, logic, and innovation. And now it's again time for the best part of the video, the examples. First we have some people at Stage Orange. Businessmen and entrepreneurs, Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was younger, supermodels, and Tony Robbins, Ty Lopez, Knowledge. as well as most other success coaches. Then we have Stephen Hawking, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, as well as a lot of other celebrities, Henry Ford and Elon Musk, as well as atheists. And now some things at Stage Orange. Fancy restaurants and hotels, yachts and cruise ships, sports cars and mansions, professional sports like NBA and FIFA, popular culture, social media is massively Stage Orange, and we have Hollywood and the internet as a whole. Fast food and junk food, McDonald's, chips, soda, candy, Western medicine, the whole treat the symptoms, not the cause type of healthcare. Then we have advertisements, and Fortune 500 companies such as Coca-Cola, Amazon, Disney and Microsoft. Nightclubs, television is a big one, especially reality TV, game shows and lastly the self-help industry. And now for some behaviors at Stage Orange. The most common is in general just flexing. Your muscles, your money, your sports cars, partying, drinking alcohol, having one night stands, bodybuilding and especially the use of steroids. Then we have using makeup and fashion getting breast implants, Botox, plastic surgery, shopping, and wearing expensive clothes and jewelry. And lastly, some ideas at Stage Orange. We have capitalism, hookup culture, secularism and consumerism, materialism, and scientism, or science as the new religion. Now, what triggers Stage Orange? The main ones are stages blue, green, and turquoise. The religion, god, dogma, communism, conspiracy theories, hillbillies and rednecks of stage blue. The new age topics, pseudoscience, spirituality, hippies, vegans, feminists, alternative medicine, healing, paranormal experiences, identity politics and political correctness of stage green. As well as the spirituality, mysticism and philosophy of stage turquoise. Because all of that is seen as stage blue superstition, irrationality and belief as well as weakness. Stage Orange is also triggered by beggars and freeloaders. Stage Orange just thinks those kind of people should get a job and just pull themselves up from their own bootstraps. Now some issues with Stage Orange. First of all, Stage Orange leads to environmental damage, pollution, global warming, deforestation, resource depletion, as well as massive wealth inequality. Next, at Stage Orange, scientism becomes the new religion, so you're very closed off to new ideas. Next, Stage Orange's lifestyle leads to a lot of physical and mental issues. Obesity, depression, etc. Fast food addictions, junk food addictions, sex and porn addiction, shopping addiction, phone addiction, gaming addiction, and that's only a few. Then we have stress. Stage Orange is inherently stressful. You either have to stress about constantly improving and keeping ahead of the competition, or you have to stress about keeping your position. Be it with money, looks, relevance or skills. And the worst issue with Stage Orange is that it doesn't lead to happiness. 
you get stuck in endless loops of chasing the next thing and the next thing and that doesn't make you happy. You become isolated and lonely and you become very disconnected with nature as well as your emotions. And this leads us to the next stage. Now, how can you transform from stage orange to stage green? First, you have to stop judging stage green. Stop judging the hippies and vegans, because you can't evolve to the next level if you demonize it. You have to open yourself up to stage green. You have to open yourself up to your emotions and spirituality. You have to read about stage green. Read about spirituality, read about paranormal experiences, altered states of consciousness, and alternative medicine, and experiment with them. Try some spiritual yoga, try some alternative medicine practice like acupuncture, try astral projection or other new age stuff. Just try it. Next, you have to notice that success and materialism doesn't lead to happiness. And notice how disconnected you are from your own feelings as well as from other people. Finally, you have to do some self-reflection. You have to try to recognize the limits of stage orange. Recognize the limits of your belief system. The limits of science and materialism. And that's all for stage orange. To watch the next video, watch that right here. That's all, out.